My name is Zeke, and I am Vunky. I'd like to recite for you a poem I wrote about John Curran's exhibition, the DHC Art Foundation. Fourth floor. Big hands, big breasts, small head, shirt knot on her chest. I'm not sure what Deauville has to do with Rotterdam. If the pictures were taken in a brothel, do royalties get paid to the madam? As long as I'm asking questions, I wonder if either woman used a diaphragm. Quite possibly the easiest way to explain wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Malmo's another brothel scene. The couple pictured doesn't look older than 18. The second act of Hamlet would be easier to explain to high school males if it was illustrated with the Dane. Big-breasted naked women with mismatched body parts. Apparently one of them is his sweetheart. Despite the fact that the brushstroke is never rush, rough shod, there's something that always seems odd. Patch and Pearl gazing out in the distance. A complete understanding gives some resistance. Third floor. Singing for her supper or taking a taste. The action in this painting is not snail paced. Not at all traditional. Kinda quirky. Take a gander at the size of that turkey. Curran as Kuziemski, would you disagree? Given his porn paintings, it's hard to see them abstaining. A bent lady with a bunch of roses. Damien Hurst noses. Anna smiles sweetly behind a banana and a three-branched candelabrum. No matter how hard I try, this isn't abstract expressionism. Some woman with a melon as a breast. I would hate to see how he paints her fess. I don't understand at all the fruit in a bowl. Does eating grapes help your soul? Second floor. I like the skinny dude's sweater. He's an old guy. I hope he gets better. Hanging out in the bathroom. Is he talking? And if so, to whom? Did Mr. Kern live in Berlin? The paint on this one is not thin. There's still something weird. It might be the hair. It might be the beard. It took me a while to notice the wheelchair. Smack dab in the middle of the painting is a mighty big pair. Add to that hand coming out of her head, and you can understand how I was misled. Santa's little helper, diaphanous skirts as it were. The two don't quite meld. While I was looking at it, parts of my body swelled. I wonder what the etiquette is in Stanford, Connecticut. Smoking cigars and drinking martinis. I'm surprised that they're not wearing bikinis. I wonder if Ms. Feinstein sculpted John or is showing her off naked for him a turn on. First floor. Atreyu? Bastion Bucks? Is he thinking, I wonder if she fucks? Whose hand? And why is she looking away? Is she lost in her thoughts and far away? Or is it bedtime and she's about to hit the hay? You can never be too thin or too rich. Mrs. Omne is a fairly standard issue portrait about which there isn't much I can say. I can't figure out why he chose her to portray. I wonder if Mr. Kern watched Maud when he was growing up and was awed as I was by the television show. Although I have to admit I dreamt about Adrian Barbeau. Two people painted on a background that's beige. Despite, or maybe because of, their clothes, they look their age. What's the opposite of brown? While she's smiling, I frown. There's something off, not quite right. I think it has to do with a background being very bright. 